Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I'm doing something that I'm really excited to do, and that is another collection video. Now this specific collection video has been requested for me to do. As you guys can tell by the title, this is my Lush collection. Been on my channel for a while. I love Lush. I always go too crazy on their website, especially when they release new collections. I have gathered quite the collection. So I have this drawer here, this drawer here, and then a whole lot of products on my floor as well that I'm going to try and rearrange into these drawers after this video. I don't have their complete collection and I'm in no way trying to brag saying, oh look at me, I can afford all of this. There's a variety of stuff in here, stuff from different ranges and stuff from the permanent range as well. But without further ado, let's jump into this video. I'm also not going to read all of the little descriptions on them because there is a lot to get through, otherwise this video would be like 10 million years long. I will link the Lush website in the description box and I will link all of the products that I mention if they are still there. I'm going to start off with shower gels. The first shower gel is this one. This is the Yuzu and Coco shower cream. It smells kind of like chocolate and oranges. This is part of Lush's permanent range. This is the Comforter shower cream. This just smells very very sweet and as you guys can see it is well loved because I have about a quarter of this left. This is part of Lush's permanent range is Happy Hippy. This one, as you can see, I've used quite a bit of it already. I've probably used about a third of it. But this one it just smells of lemons, so it's quite citrusy and it's also really, really good just to feel cleansed. This is part of Lush's permanent range. Next shower gel I have just gotten and that is this one here and this is the beautiful shower gel and this just kind of smells like peaches and apricots. This is part of Lush's permanent range. The last shower gel cream thing that I have is this one here. This one is the Rose Jam shower gel. This is one that I have just got so it just smells of roses like you would think. This was part of Lush's Christmas in July collection. Moving on to cleansers, I just have one and that is my trusty Let the Good Times Roll Cleanser. Just smells like popcorn and caramel. I have gone through like maybe four or five of these. This is part of Lush's permanent range. Checking it with this sort of like face theme. Now I'm going to move on to toners. The first toner is this one here and this is the Breath of Fresh Air Toner Water. Don't have very much of this left. I think I probably have about a quarter. This smells very like faulty. It does remove a lot of dirt as well. So I just spray this onto a cotton pad and then just wipe it over my face. It's part of Lush's permanent range. The next couple of cleansers are the exact same and these are the Tea Tree Toner Waters. Again I have just got these but picked up these ones because I wanted to give this one a go and the reason I got two was because the full size was out of stock. Both of these are part of Lush's permanent range. Moving on to shower scrubs. I have this one here and this is the exact same and this is rub rub rub. The reason I picked up a new one was because I'm almost out of this one. We have about a quarter of this one left. It just smells like the beach. It's like an exfoliant for your body. And it's part of Lush's permanent range. I'm gonna move on to like body lotions and conditioners. I have two. So the first one I have is Sleepy and this just smells like lavender. The last one is Snow Fairy and this just smells like marshmallows. Both of these are part of Lush's Christmas in July collection. Face masks. All of these face masks are part of Lush's permanent range. I have two of the cupcake face masks. Because one of mine is really, really dried out and I'm almost to the end of it as well. This one just smells like chocolate in a toned down mint. So it smells really, really good. I have two of the Don't Look At Me Fresh face masks. I'm almost out of this one because me and my sister shall we use this one to death. We both love it. This one just smells of lemonade. Last face mask that I have is this one here and this is Brazened Honey. Kind of smells a little bit herby but with that honey scent running through it. Teeth products. I just have one. This is the Miles of Smiles Triple Mint Toothy Tabs. These are just very, very strongly scented of mint. These are part of Lush's permanent range as well. And I'm trying to get used to these because they are really, really strong. This kind of goes on its own and I just have the charity pot. I 
100% of the proceeds minus GST go towards these different charities that they support. This one is for Freedom Hill Sanctuary. Freedom Hill Sanctuary is a non-profit organisation dedicated to providing a loving, lifelong home to farmed animals. And their website is www.freedomhill.com.au. Yeah, I just think it's such a good idea. The charity pot is a permanent product at Lush Lips Balms and I have three. So the first one I have is this one and this is Honey Trap. This just smells of like white chocolate and vanilla. Love it. Next one is this one here and this is Key Lime Pilot Balm. Just smells of like green sherbet and I've just got this one. And the last one that I have is this one here and this is the Passion Fruit Lip Balm. Love them, they're really, really moisturizing on your lips and they feel really, really comfortable as well. All of these lip balms are part of Lush's permanent range. Lip scrubs, I just have two. And the first one is this one here and this one is mint juleps. Basically smells of mint slice biscuits, so smells of mint and chocolate. These are sugar scrubs, they just help to exfoliate your lips. So this mint juleps one is part of Lush's permanent range. And the last lip scrub that I have is this one here and this is the chocolate lip scrub. Now this was part of Lush's Easter range, but it just smells of chocolate and treatments. I just have one. I have this one here, and this is the Grease Lightning Spot Treatment. I actually really, really like this. So it comes out in like a gel, and this is part of Lush's permanent range. Here I just have one product from Lush, and the spray hair mist. So this is just a like sea salt spray for your hair. It just helps give it a bit of texture. This I'm not a huge fan of because it makes my hair feel a little bit crunchy. And this is part of Lush's permanent range. Perfumes, I just have one. And that is this one here. So this is the Vanillary Gorilla Perfume. And this one smells like a very, very mature vanilla scent. Kind of has a cinnamon scent running through it. 30 mils in here. And this is part of Lush's permanent range. Shaving creams. I just have one and that is this one here. This is the Ambrosia Shaving Cream. Like sweet but not overly sweet. And this is part of Lush's permanent range. Heat Care. So this product is part of Lush's permanent range and it is the Softy Foot Lotion. And this one kind of smells like the Panthen Cream. So it's quite a strong scent but it's just like a moisturizer for your foot. I have a foot soap. And I just have this orange one here, and this is the Thomas Power Foot Soap. This is really, really good for exfoliating. This is part of Lush's permanent range. Working with exfoliating, I have this here, and Lush was kind enough to gift this to me for free. This is the Big Buffy Buffing Bar. So basically, it's just like a body soap exfoliant. This is part of Lush's permanent range. Soaps, I have three, and the first one is in my shower. That is the Love You, Love You Lots soap. But this was part of Lush's Valentine's Day collection, and I kind of like florally. Um, lathers up really, really good. Next soap that I have is part of Lush's permanent range, and that is this one here. And this is the Sea Salted Caramel Soap. I love the smell of caramel, so that is why I picked this one up. It smells of like hokey pokey and caramel. It has a little bit of cinnamon running through it as well. The last soap that I have is part of Lush's Easter range is this one here. And this is the chocolate Easter egg soap. It smells of chocolate. Bath melts. I just have two. So the first one is this one here. And this is the golden egg bath melt. So Lush's Easter range. And, and the last bath melt that I have is this one here. And this is the Snow Angel bath melt. This was part of their Christmas collection last year. Bubble runes, I just have two. The first one that I have is this one here. And this is just the green bubble rune. And this one is melting like crazy. But again, just smells quite fresh. The last one that I have is this one here. And this one is the Rose Jam bubble rune. And they kind of have like a little rose pattern on them. And that one smells quite Quite sweet. The first sort of random Lush product that I have was this little postcard here which was given to me in the Valentine's Day collection. I have the Naked Truth book and it just has like a whole bunch of Lush's products and a little bit about the company itself. And the last random Lush item that I have is their tote bag and it just says by animal testing and then on the back it just says lush.com. Now on to bubble bars. The first bubble bar that I have is this one here 
And this is Elsie the Giraffe, and this was from Lush's Mother's Day collection. It just smells of lemonade ice blocks. I love the smell of this. It smells incredible. One is the Magic of Christmas. So as you can tell by the name, this was part of Lush's Christmas range last year. The smell was like very, very cinnamony. The next bubble bar again is part of Lush's Christmas range, and that is this one here, which I think is so incredibly cute. And this is the Santasaurus bubble bar. It smells quite fresh. This is the pink flamingo. I have just got this one, but it smells really, really sweet. Part of Lush's permanent range. The Milky Bath bubble bar. This one is part of Lush's permanent range. It has like a slight twang to it. This one is Candy Mountain. This one just smells like Snow Fairy, and this one was part of Lush's Christmas range last year. This one was part of Lush's Valentine's Day collection, and this is the Ladybird Bubble Bar. This smells sweet. This is the Comforter, and Lush was kind enough to give this to me for free. It kind of smells a little bit like marshmallows and vanilla. This, again, is part of Lush's permanent range. Next Bubble Bar, again, is part of Lush's permanent range, and that is this one here. The Bright Side Bubble Bar, and it just smells of oranges. This one here is the Christmas Penguin. So, again, as the name would suggest, this is part of Lush's Christmas range last year. It just smells quite fresh. This is the Bunch of Carrots Reusable Bubble Bar. This one is part of Lush's Easter range. Again, that one just smells quite fresh. The Peeping Santa. Again, as the name and as you could tell if you look at it, this was part of Lush's Christmas range last year. It smells like sweet. This is the Unicorn Horn Bubble Bar. I believe this was part of Lush's Valentine's Day collection. It smells a little bit fruity. And the last bubble bar that I have is this one here. This is the Magic Wand and this was part of Lush's Christmas range last year. Again, it smells quite sweet. Bath bombs. And first up we have this one and this is the Ickle Baby Bop Bath Bomb. That is a tongue twister. This again is part of Lush's permanent range. Just smells quite fresh. This one was part of Lush's Christmas range last year. I got it in this Santa tin here and this one is called Northern Lights. It smells quite fresh but this one I just purchased. And this one is Metamorphosis. This one you can only get online. And this one just smells of Kirby. So like rosemary and like lavender. Those kind of scents. This one's part of Lush's permanent range. This is the Think Pink Bath Bomb. It smells very, very sweet. And this one again is part of Lush's permanent range. And this one is like a mini bath bomb as well. This is the Avo Bath Bomb. It smells of avocado and like lemon. This one is part of Lush's permanent range. Is the pink bath bomb. It's kind of sweetish, and this one again was part of Lush's Mother's Day range. This one is Dragon's Egg. It's like a toned down Avo bath bomb, so it has that little bit of citrus. This one is part of Lush's permanent range. This one was part of Lush's Christmas collection last year. And it came in this little Santa tin here, and this one is the Luxury Lush Hood Bath Bomb. Kind of smells a little bit fresh, but a little bit sweet at the same time. It's the Intergalactic Bath Bomb. This one smells like men's aftershave. It looks incredible when you drop it in the bath. And it's part of Lush's permanent range. This is a Twilight Bath Bomb. And part of Lush's permanent range. It smells a little bit sweet. This is the Cupid Bath Bomb. This one was part of Lush's Valentine's Day collection. Was really really sweet and I just think it looks so incredibly cute as well. One again was part of the Father Christmas set and this is the Golden Wonder Bath Bomb. It kind of has that like cinnamon scent running through it. This is Nevermind the Ballistics. I think this one was part of the Christmas collection as well. It smells like a little bit florally. It's a classic and this is Sex Bomb, part of Lush's permanent range and it smells like quite fresh. This is the Experimenter and this one that smells quite sweet, part of Lush's permanent range. The next bath bomb is very very cracked and that is this one here. This did not come cracked. This has just cracked in my drawers. This is the Witch Came First Stripes. So this originally was an egg. This was part of Lush's Easter range. It smells a little bit citrusy, but mostly just fresh. This one is the Fizz Banger. It smells like quite fresh. This one's part of Lush's permanent range. This is the Blackberry Bath Bomb. Again, part of Lush's permanent range. It smells very like berry-ish. This one is called Frozen. Again, part of Lush's permanent range, and it just smells quite fresh. This one is Secura. 
again part of Lush's permanent range. It smells like quite florally. This is the Rose Bomb shell and on this side it's gone a really really weird colour. I don't know what is up with that but this one was part of Lush's Valentine's Day collection. It smells really good. It just smells quite sweet. Next bath bomb again is cracked and it came cracked. That is this one here. So this one came in the Father Christmas tin set. So again part of the Christmas range. And this one is just called Father Christmas. It has that really like off perfume scent. This is the Lover Lamp bath bomb. This one was part of Lush's Valentine's Day collection. It smells a little bit florally but also a little bit sweet. And this is the last bath bomb that came in the Father Christmas tin set. So again was part of the Christmas collection and this one is so white. I was quite like florally and fresh. This one is Yoga Bomb, again part of Lush's permanent range. And that one just smells toned down orange, so like a little bit citrusy. This one is called Upsy Daisy. This one was part of the Mother's Day collection and just smells like quite fresh. And the last two bath bombs came in this little Christmas gift set and this is the Rudy gift set. So the first bath bomb in this set isn't sealed so that's why I keep it in here. And that is this one here and this one is Butterball. It smells really really sweet. It has cocoa butter running through it which is also a little bit smaller than the other ones. And this one is part of Lush's permanent range. And the last bath bomb that I own is this one here and this is the shoot for the stars bath bomb not overly floral it's not overly fruity it's not overly citrusy and it's not overly sweet the last category that i'm going to do that is in my lush collection is little samples that i have received curbside violet solid perfume musk of magnanimity i don't know how you pronounce that cleanser honey i washed the kids shower gel dirty spring wash shower gel angels cleanser with limelight toothy tab Happy Hippie Shower Gel. So I'm probably just going to put that aside for Rachel because I have the full size. The last sample that I have is the Fair Trade Honey Shampoo, which I love the smell of this. This smells incredible. So there we go, guys. That is my complete Lush collection. I feel like this video has probably been quite a long one. If you did enjoy this video and you do enjoy these sort of collection type videos, then please give this video a massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you are new, then I just want to say hey and welcome to my channel and I hope you decide to stick around and join our family here on this channel. We'd love to have you come along with us. Please check out some of my social media links that I have listed in the description box below. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I will try and link as many of these items in the description as possible, as well as have the Lush website so that if you did want anything, then you can go over and check it out. We normally have quite good shipping as well. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! I was going to say over the years, but it's only really been like one year. Izzy, you're not going outside, bud. It is too cold. Izzy, it is raining outside. <laughs> oh, my nose. I'm getting sick. I can only be the lids on. Here we go. Sorry if you can see Aslan just wandering around everywhere. Breast. Breast. Then spray this onto a cotton pad. Aslan. Get pumice foot. What? Pum East Easter's Lushes. Like, yeah, as he's in one of my drawers. Oh, I'm just like, <laughs> how did you know your drawers are possessed? <laughs>